Hexadecimal number 16. Hexadecimal B16 symbol 0 to 9 represents the value of 0 to 9. And A, B, C, D, E, and F represent the value of 10 to 15. Hi guys, so I'm Renona Bernardo and I'm gonna discuss about the addition of hexadecimal numbers. So the addition of hexadecimal numbers can be easily achieved by using the table given right here. So in the table, at the upper portion, you can see the x part and at the left side, you can see the y part. So in adding hexadecimal numbers, for example, BA3 plus 5DE base 16, first you will have to align it like this and then you proceed in adding 3 and E which will result to 11 and then you will have to carry the 1 over here and then proceed on adding A and D which will then result to 17 plus you will add the carry on so it will become 18. Afterwards, you will have to add B and 5 which will result to 10 but since there is a carry, you will have to add that as well which will then result to 11 giving you an answer of 1181 base 16. Hi guys, I'm John Benedict Pareto and today I'm going to discuss subtracting of hexadecimal number. So, first thing you need to remember is the digit borrowed from the immediate higher place is counted as 16. So, our example today is subtract B4A base 16 from C39 base 16. So, our solution is C39 minus B4A is 9 minus A cannot be because A is equals to 10. Refer to the table. So A is equals to 10. Cannot be. We will borrow 1 from 3. This will become 2. Then six, it will become 16 plus 16 plus 9 is equals to 25. So 25 minus 10 it will become 15. So the value of 15 is equals to F. So it will become F. Then 2 minus 4 cannot be. We will borrow 1 from C. It will become B. 16, 16 plus 2 is equals to 18, minus 4 is equals to 14. So the, the value of 14, according to the table, letter E. So the answer will be letter E. So B minus B is equals to 0. And that's it. That is how we solve subtraction of hexadecimal numbers. Thank you, guys. Hi, guys. It's me, Philip Dinesha. And I'm going to teach you about modification of hexadecimal. First, I'll show you the table for hexadecimal modification. The following table gives products of all combination of two single digits. So while multiplying, if the product consists of two digits, the digit on the left is carried over and added to the product in the next place. So for example, 1A8 base 16 times AF base 16. First, the digit F in the number AF base 16 is multiplied with each of the digits in the number 1A8 base 16. So, F times 8 equals to 78. The digit 8 is written below in the product row and 7 is carried over to the next place to be added with the next product. Next is F times 8 equals to, equals to 96 base 16. And 96 base 16 plus 7 16 equals to 9D base 16. D is written in the product row and the 9 is carried over to the next place. F times 1 equals to F. And F base 16 plus 9 base 16 equals to 18 base 16. The second row of multiplication is done in a similar manner. Multiplying the digit A with each of digits in 1A8 base 16. The two products are then added to get the final product. Thus, 1A8 base 16 times AF base 16 is equals to 121B8 base 16. And that's it guys. You learned how to multiply hexadecimal. Okay, for the end, they will be showing how to dividing hexadecimal. Okay, now our problem is that divided by 3. Let's see. D. We have D is 27. So, since D is 27, times 3, times 9, and then the remainder is 0. Now, our E. Ready? 